Like many others, Young Miami found it funny that Joe Budden's biggest hit officially went gold 21 years after its release Joe Budden recently received his official gold plaque from the Recording Industry Association of America RIAA, for Pump It Up. His biggest commercial hit came out 21 years ago, and though it's a late arrival, it's a celebratory one nonetheless. However, this became an easy target for the Slaughterhouse MC's haters, as many folks online made fun of this development. In fact, even Young Miami, formerly of the City Girls, tweeted out some crying laughing emojis in response to this. While it's unclear whether she meant to disrespect him with this post, he certainly took it as such. It would be too easy. Joe Budden tweeted in response to Young Miami's laughter. Maybe TMW, lol. He added in another tweet responding to a fan who asked him to let loose on her. For those unaware, Budden has been previously critical of Kershaw in the public eye, such as commenting on her recent expressions concerning the Diddy scandal. Specifically, he thinks that he threw her city girl's partner JT under the bus with her comments and instead had sympathy for the disgraced hip-hop mogul despite his confirmed and alleged crimes. Of course, what Joe Budden is referring to with these tweets is that young Miami is no commercial juggernaut either, as evidenced by his thoughts on the city girl's very poor album sales last year. I need to have that number confirmed, he said on his podcast about their alleged 6K first week debut for Raw, which was actually 10K. Budden questioned this discrepancy, and wasn't critical of the duo at all but rather of their label, the system that quantified these numbers, and their behind-the-scenes struggles. It still sounds unbelievable to me. I'm with you as far as how they counted that. Maybe it's the pure album sales. Somebody was trying to hurt them during their release. Meanwhile, speaking of record label and music business nonsense, Joe Budden also recently spoke on Drake's licensing deal. He thinks that far too many people falsely believe that Drizzy has a lot of freedom in this UMG partnership. While those details and considerations are well beyond the scope of accessible information for most music listeners, that murky water is exactly what should inspire this skepticism. We'll see if Joe has any more thoughts on his gold plaque and on these conversations.